Who's calling me? My mother. We're gonna ignore her. <laughs> We're gonna ignore her for now. Sorry, Ma. Love you so much. Hello everyone and welcome to The Creative Urge. My name is Austin and I am so excited to be back with you guys. I haven't filmed in a very long time because I've been dealing with a lot of stress and depression as a result of my job. So much so that I have taken a leave of absence to kind of get myself together and take care of my mental health. And today is a good day. I couldn't think of anything better than to be with you guys and get creative and film. So in this video, I am actually going to be introducing a new collection from my soul sister tenacity she is such a fabulous human being so real so authentic so supportive to everyone who comes into contact with her tenacity has shared my art and she actually connected me to the brand that she developed this palette with called the basic bitch palette like I love it so much and the brand is called Bella beauty blog so we are going to be exploring this today and she also came Came out with a set of brushes we are going to be playing with those and the collection also has some lashes and some other items in it but we're just gonna be focusing on those two things today before we get started I just want to tell you a little bit about BBB Bella Beauty blog I'll have their website linked below I have been in search of indie brands to collaborate with and purchase from ever since I did my video where I researched L'Oreal and NYX I really realized that the cosmetics industry and a a lot of industries actually operate this way. They're owned by only a few companies and they masquerade as all these little brands and they make you think that they're different companies but they're owned by the same corporation. And I don't necessarily think big business is bad. However, I do believe in marketplace competition because if you don't have competition, you run the risk of tons of money, power, and influence being concentrated in one company, which I don't think is healthy for anybody. And that's not to say that big companies are bad. You know, even in my L'Oreal and NYX video, there was a lot of things that they were doing right for the environment. They had a lot of causes they supported. It's not all bad, but I'm trying to radicalize my purchases and also create more marketplace competition and support smaller brands. I like to know who's at the top, who's running stuff, how many employees they have. I like to know who they are as people so I know exactly what I am supporting. So Tenacity actually found me, I think on YouTube first or on Instagram. I can't remember. Tenacity, tell me in the comments below, how did we meet and discover each other? I don't even remember. But she's the one who actually introduced me to Bella Beauty Blog and introduced me to Kristen. Kristen is the sole operator, owner of the brand. She doesn't have any employees right now, but her brand has been expanding since 2017. Kristen is a special, lovely person, super transparent. I asked her a bunch of questions about the brand. She was so patient with me, willing to answer everything, and even admitted in certain questions that she has some room for growth. And also she made commitments to consider them in the future. Kristen, funny enough, I'm a therapist by day, and she actually started off in psychology. She got a degree in psychology, but then went into fashion and was like a fashion buyer in New York. And then when she had her daughter, Bella, which is obviously the inspiration for the brand name, she kind of went through this existential place, like where's my career going? Where do I want to take my life? And she decided to start this beauty brand. And I am so thankful she did. Ever since I got on board with them, I have been treated with nothing but absolute respect and support. The community at BBB is so healthy and positive and uplifting. They share everyone's posts, they share everyone's lives, they make everyone feel beautiful. The brand is completely cruelty free, completely vegan. They have a lot of gluten free options, which is awesome. I always ask for my mom because she has a terrible gluten allergy and you can literally message Kristen and she will walk you through it. Additionally, she really values high quality ingredients. Her ingredient suppliers, I'll link them down below, but they're completely USA based, which is so awesome. They do not explore child labors and everything is of the utmost quality. I check them out. She also has an affiliate program, which is awesome. She wants to support other small businesses, other people trying her products. I am actually an affiliate. So if you use the creative urge on the website, you get 10% off and I make a little bit of commission. I'm not being paid to say any of this and I genuinely love and support this brand and want to share it with you guys so that we can fight against big business and support support small businesses. So without further ado, let's get into the actual palette. Also, my hair is going to fall throughout this whole video. This is the Basic Bitch palette. 
comes on a little sleeve, do do do, and it has all the ingredients listed on the back, which I absolutely love. It's got a two year expiration, but I don't follow that. I keep makeup until my eyes will fall off. I will not be throwing away any makeup, absolutely not. So I will keep this for a lifetime. And here is the color story. Absolutely beautiful. We have some neutral shades and we also have some colorful shades, which you know me, I gotta have color. When Tenacity was creating this product, she wanted to create a big basic palette that anybody could use. And what I love is that she really redefined the idea of basic. When she announced that she was creating this, I was like, oh great, it's gonna be another neutral palette. Like the beauty market doesn't need this. And when she released the color story, I was like, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. She created a palette that you can literally use for anything. There is a white in here. There is a black. There is a glitter. There's three shimmer shades and also with the colors that she chose here you can make any color of the rainbow in a previous video I did I talked about the primary colors not being red blue and yellow it's actually yellow cyan and magenta you can make any colors with those it's a long story go check out the video but she actually has a magenta here and a yellow this isn't a true cyan but that's okay because with the magenta and the yellow you can make red and with this blue color you can mix this with the magenta here and still create a purple so literally every color of the rainbow is right here when I was looking through my own collection I have nothing that is like this I don't have something that has neutrals every color of the rainbow a black and a white my favorite palette is the zodiac palette first of all the size comparison I mean this is so much smaller and easier to travel with this is a lot bigger and in this there's neutrals in this and there's some color but the color is all neutral so there's no brights in here there's also a black but there's no white in this so already this doesn't have what this has and then the closest comparison I could find in terms of like size and what she did in here is the BH Cosmetics La Vie d'En Prince palette and in this palette there's neutrals in here right here and there's tons of colors here but there's no true white this is more of a bone color there's no black there's no glitters and the yellow in here is not bright enough it's more of a mustard so this one is checked out too what else can I tell you about this oh packaging totally paper no plastic which is awesome so when you're done with it recycle it that's really important so we can keep the environmental impact low and it's going to retail for $45 but if you use my code you can save four dollars and fifty cents hey so we're gonna get into a look for this in a moment the brush set I didn't even tell you about the brush set so the brush set comes with eight brushes and they're all very precision tips precision brushes are really hard to come by in the beauty market take it from somebody who has hooded eyes like me it's a nightmare trying to find brushes that actually can cater to the small creases and crevices that you see these brushes are absolutely perfect for getting in all of those creases and I love also that it comes with these two detail brushes because you can create all these different liner looks and create all these details so I am super happy to have these they're completely cruelty free these are gonna retail for $39 and this is also being released June 18th for the rest of the collection and they also come with this cute little bag just look at how holographic and pretty that is like I could look at that all day how satisfying is that all right so let's get into the look I am going to pull you a little bit closer and we are gonna the whip. Okay, we are back and I just have a little bit of primer on my eyes so that all of these shadows will really pop. If you're interested in any of the products I'm using, everything that I use will be listed in the description box below. For today's look, we are going to do something that's very simple, but very beautiful. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take one of our precision brushes and we're going to put a yellow right in the inner corner. And the yellow is called No Mayo. When you guys see all the shade names of this palette, you're going to die laughing. They're so funny. I wish these were numbered. That would be my one critique about this brush set because I can't tell you which one it is, but it's one of the small 
small ones. So just customize it to your own eye shape. I'm really impressed with the color payoff of this. It's so hard to make a bright yellow and to find a bright yellow, and I am here for it. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to take another one of our precision brushes, a little bit bigger, and we're going to just pack on the outer edge here the shade called Lisa. It's the magenta pink. So now that we have both of those colors placed, I am just going to take a very orange liner. So this is the LA Shockwave from LA Girl. This is a lip liner, so please use this with caution. I personally haven't had a problem, so we are gonna do that. We're gonna put this right in the waterline to connect the yellow and the pink. If anybody has a suggestion for pencil liners, maybe from an indie brand that come in these really bright colors and are really pigmented, please let me know. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's a lip liner, so it's going to be really pigmented, but I don't care. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a blending brush that's not a part of the collection, just like something fluffy like this. This is the e.l.f crease brush and we're just going to go in circular motions with this pink and just keep it concentrated on that outer lash line we don't want to bring it too far up because that's going to be a part of the look and then we're also going to blend that yellow up too so i'm just going to clean this off and i'm just going to blend up and i'm going to also blend down on the lower lash line as well so just kind of like a half moon shape so we can kind of mimic the effect with the pink. I'm actually gonna go back into the pink just a little bit more. And you're gonna blend this on the lower lash line slightly too, just right on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I'm kind of taking it out a little bit too to kind of blow it out, but adding no pigment. See how that's just really blown out? That is what we're going for. Then we're gonna go back into those precision brushes and you're gonna concentrate the color just right in the center, closest to your eyelid like a little dot just so it pops in that one space cute and just do the same with the pink and we're gonna concentrate the color right on the outer corner and up into the crease slightly and then just kind of blend this way too because we're just doing a color blocked look today really pack that pigment on just blend make sure you blend out the edges kind of get it into the crease just a little bit that's the thing with hooded eyes you gotta get in a little bit above the crease too so that when your eye is just kind of open like that you can still see it and then what we're gonna do is take that blending brush again and you're just gonna buff out just the edges of that pink and again I'm just kind of circling out too okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the larger brushes here we're gonna take this one and we're going to wet it with a little setting spray and we're gonna go into blonde highlights it's the shimmery shade next to white claw and you're just gonna put that all over the lid the thing i like about this too guys is you can use a brush even with the shimmers which is very refreshing and i'm gonna kind of go in the crease a little bit just kind of go in the crease Lightly. I'm actually gonna take my finger too and just tap it right in the center so it's really bright in the center but not on the edges and then taking that just like pink precise brush I'm just gonna blend into this slightly and you want to know something I think I'm gonna take that pink even higher because it's still not showing up the way I want it to there we go and the edges get the edges that's showing up better just get that pigment into the crease a little bit more if you've got hooded eyes like me and the final thing we're gonna do is again take another one of the small precise brushes and we're just gonna highlight under the brow bone with a white claw I want it to be very contrasted look at how beautiful that is this white is just a delight it is a white delight see how that just kind of brighten things up a little bit okay that is the simple eye look using the BB BB X Tenacity Basic Bitch Palette. I will be right back. Okay, everybody, we are back with the final look. Please stay tuned for the Basic Bitch Palette and the brush set, which will be available on June 18th. I will link the website down below. Please support my girl Tenacity. She is a beautiful soul. And if you want to save some coin, you can use my code, the Creative Urge at checkout. At this point, I'd like to invite you to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, everyone.
I just realized that I've been also looking at the monitor at myself through most of this video, just being completely vain and looking at how gorgeous I look. Enjoy that experience.